Hello and welcome to this Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm Yugi Kwan and today we're going to take a look at Netflix on Linux. Um, this is pretty easy now before you have to do some fixes to make it work. Uh, but now you just use the Chrome browser. Uh, so I have the Firefox pre-installed on my Ubuntu here as you can see. Um, we're going to go ahead and download the Chrome version. Uh, just go and search for Chrome and go to the website. And we're going to click download now and depending from what bit you are 64 or 32 we're gonna download that one and accept and just download and install the web browser so yeah after you have downloaded and installed that it should work pretty almost directly um, I will have a link for a lib file you need to install uh, if that's the case but yeah, it worked directly for me. Uh, I just had to download and install it. And uh, you can just go in and watch your Netflix series. I will just confirm that it works by clicking it. Yeah, it works. So I'm gonna exit out of this one here. And I'm gonna show you the old version. Uh, so I'm gonna start up uh, virtual box here uh, to let you see how it works <coughs> uh, so you're gonna need some quick fixes uh, for the old version to work we're gonna download and install a font pack and we're gonna download and install a program called Compolio um, and let's see here I'm gonna exit out of this and, uh, uh, let's see here yep this one okay open up your terminal I'm using mint here to demonstrate uh, installing it on a mint system so we're gonna go ahead and go sudo apt uh, sudo apt get install ttf ms core fonts installer so enter there and pass in your password and it's gonna read the packages and wire yes and uh, there you go and let's see here it should go pretty quickly accept that one and accept that one and we're off so yeah let's see here Next thing we need to do is add a repository. So go ahead and type to get and so add repository PPA um, e river uh, dash. that you accept and we're gonna go with sudo update and we're gonna update everything and see that it works uh, let's see here. yeah it's done perfect and uh, next we go with sudo All the commands will be in the description box below, uh, as well as the fix for the uh, file that's missing when you're gonna just run the Chrome version, if you have that problem. But uh, for me it worked prior directly, so it should for you too, I hope. So yeah, let's see.
And now that it's finished, we're going to load the menu and just type in uh, Netflix. And Netflix Desktop. It's going to perform some installations. Just accept them all here and press install. Gonna install some Wine Mono and some Wine Gecko. And it all should work after that. And so Wine Gecko install. There you have it, it's installed and uh, it's running perfectly. I will open up a uh, new one that I have here. Let's see here, uh, VirtualBox. I'm gonna double click here and uh, I'm gonna open up this one. Uh, and we can confirm that it works. It's the old version of Netflix, uh, it still works. Uh, confirm that it still works uh, it's a bit laggy because the virtual box but yeah so the old version works as well um, so yeah that's the two versions uh, that I know that you can run in Netflix on Linux on if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask and I will have all the information in the description box yeah so thank you guys for watching uh, see you later